Time for another knife review. Time for another knife review. I have here a Benchmade AFO2 in all black. It's an excellent utility knife, and this one happens to be automatic. I'm wearing right here my trusty everyday carry SE fixed blade full tang knife. It's an excellent knife and you can baton with it, you can break glass with it. I mean, there are just some places where it seems like it's out of place. If I go to a nice dinner or a business meeting, I don't want to be wearing this knife and I still want something to cut with. So for that, I want something a little more discreet, something that's going to fit in my pocket, something that I can use in just about any circumstance and carry anywhere. What I use this knife for about half the time, or maybe mostly, is to open letters to pay the bills. It's a letter opener. Okay, it's more than that. But it is also a letter opener. There's not a whole lot of civilian demand for automatic knives out there because a lot of states, it's not even legal to carry. And so a lot of these things are designed like tactical. I've got plenty of tactical knives. I want a utility knife. This knife, although designed as a tactical knife, perfectly fits the bill for me as a utility knife. So I want to show you why. I want to point out some of the reasons it makes an excellent everyday carry utility knife. The handles are anodized aluminum. So they're hard, but they're very light and very strong. You've got a good thumb ramp here to give you some leverage on the blade and you have an excellent finger choil. I've heard people criticize this jimping as not being cut sharp enough. It doesn't really matter. Look how steep that ramp is. It doesn't need to be cut very sharp. It works just fine as it is. If you did cut it sharper, it wouldn't work any better. Notice also how much that release button protrudes from the side. That means it's sticking out in your pocket and can easily be pressed which opens the blade inside your pocket. So they have an excellent lock. Because the range of motion of the lock is so slight, it's good to have that tactile feedback of the clicks. On the back of the blade right here, you have a flat surface. Most of the time, the pin stop on the blade is a round surface. It means that that cylinder is contacting the flat surface really on just a very fine point, just a line, okay? The curved surface meeting the flat surface. And then that will eventually indent the back of the blade, which then increases the amount of play in the blade. Well, you don't have to worry about that in this case. This one is designed with a flat surface. So you have a flat surface contacting a flat surface. And that's gonna absorb the impact of opening a lot better. I will say, this torque screw at the thumb ramp needs to be tightened, and I don't have a T6 size Torx bit, so I need to get one and then tighten this, and I think it'll take care of this very slight amount of side-to-side -side play in the blade. I like the glass breaker. Now, you want to wear a glove when you're breaking glass, but you can get a really good grip on this knife and then break the glass if you need to. The blade is hardened to between 58 and 61 Rockwell. Overall length is about eight and a half inches. Blade length is about three and a half inches. Handle length is just under five inches. And the weight is just under six ounces. That makes this a knife that is very well suited for everyday carry. It might have a quarter inch thick blade. It might be able to drive your truck and tear down your house. But if it's too bulky or too heavy, I'm not gonna carry it every day with me. So I wanted something smaller and lighter. It's a perfect fit in the hand and for the uses to which I'm gonna put this knife. Let's compare it in size to the SE3, which has been my everyday carry knife for quite some time now. It's just slightly larger than the SE3. True, this is not gonna be as stout as this fixed blade full tang knife but I'm not gonna use it the way I use this one. 
I'm gonna use this as a utility knife. I just got this thing and I'm not gonna do a torture test on it. There's plenty of those on YouTube and I'll give you some links, but I'm not gonna do a torture test on this one. Not yet. You don't do torture tests on a knife you just got. Well, some people do, but I don't. I really wish they made this in pink or teal or something my wife would like. Maybe a little bit smaller than this. So you guys at Benchmade, if you've got anything for ladies, let me know. Here's what the knife came with. This sheath, a Molly compatible clip that they call a Malice, <laughs> the knife itself, and then the, this Dog Tag Survival Knife, which is a knife and signal mirror and fire starter all combined in one. So this thing actually has a sharp edge on it and it's engravable and it comes with a compass and a ferrocerium rod. Now, I'm not sure that I agree that this is a $37 value, but it certainly is a good add-on if you order from this dealer. Let's take a look at the sheath. Notice you have to raise this tab to release the clip. I'm gonna turn it this way. All right. Notice it's got PALS webbing, so you can attach this to your bug out bag. Run this up here like this, all the way through. So you can put this on your belt in case you want to wear your knife outside of this pocket and leave this available for a small pocket gun like that Ruger that I carry. Even wearing it outside the pocket, it's more discreet than the SE. So if you're camping, hiking, surviving, whatever, working around your ranch or your farm, then this is perfectly fine. Some people might be uncomfortable wearing something like this to go grocery shopping or go into a business meeting. In which case, this is probably going to be a lot more discreet and work for you just fine. If you want to be even more discreet, then take it out, stick the knife in your pocket, and then uh, take the sheath off the belt. The pocket clip itself can be switched around. You can put it up, down, right, or left. Okay? If you're a lefty, you're going to have to get used to working this with your index finger because as far as I know, it doesn't come in a lefty model. I just thought of something else this knife might be good for. This is designed as a tactical knife, right? But you don't have to use it as such. And so even when it comes to defending yourself, if you don't have any training with the use of a blade, then don't use it as a blade. Use it as a bludgeon. I mean, you can just grip this thing in your fist. Imagine getting hit with that glass breaker anywhere on your body, but especially like ribs, face, the knees. I mean, this is gonna hurt. You can get pretty brutal with this thing. My objective in any hand-to-hand -hand combat situation is gonna be to break away and get away, not stay there and grapple and run the risk of getting hurt. So this is a really good way to start beating and bludgeoning your way out of anyone's grip. This gives you a significant tactical advantage in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Of course, it's better to have a gun. And all of this, under six ounces, in your front pocket. All right, I appreciate you watching. I'll see you at the blog.